There are 142 miles between Springfield and Manhattan where those Twin Towers fell exactly 22 years ago today. And while communities all across our country mourn, there's one voice in West Springfield with a direct tie. Western Mass News' Amanda Callahan spoke with one father who saw his life and his family change forever. Nearly 3,000 people lost their lives in the September 11th attacks in 2001. Now, 22 years later, it's a day that Bob Harrington says never gets easier. It's just another day I can't see her, I can't talk, talk to her. Melissa Harrington Hughes was on a one-day business trip in New York City when she called her father from the 101st floor of the North Tower of the World Trade Center on September 11th, 2001. And the phone rang, and I had been in construction my whole life, so I didn't usually answer the phone because somebody wanted me to do something for nothing or, or some advice and things and, and I don't know what possessed me to answer it but I answered it and it was Melissa and she was kind of like panic stricken and I couldn't understand her and I said honey you have to slow down you have to tell me what the problem is so I can help you. That call coming nearly 10 minutes after the first plane hit. She didn't know that the airplane hit the building she thought it was a bomb. She said a bomb went off we think and she said there's a lot of smoke and a lot of fire. So next to the bed was a TV. I turned it on it happened to be on CNN. I saw the smoke. I saw the flames. Harrington doing his best to put his daughter at ease, hopeful she would make it out alive. Yeah, but there's a lot of smoke. It's hard to see. I said, can you see an exit sign? She said, yes, I can. I said, well, under that exit sign, honey, is, is, is a stairwell. I said, you get to that stairwell and get out of that building as fast as you can. She said, I will do that, Dad. I told her I loved her. She told me she loved me. And I was the last person from the outside world to talk to her. The 31-year-old West Springfield native was an avid traveler, visiting every continent but Antarctica. At the time, she lived in San Francisco with her husband, Sean, as the two were just married. She tried calling him that morning, but he was asleep, leaving a heartfelt goodbye in a voicemail now famously known around the world. I just want to let you know I love you, and I'm stuck in this building in New York. There's lots of smoke, and you just wanted to know that I love you. Oh, you. She didn't think of herself. She thought of her husband. It's been over two decades since that fateful day, but it's one Harrington continues to relive. You never want to let people forget what happened, and, and so if I, I come down here, I'm not crazy about coming down here, but, it, you, you know, to continue the story and, and, and to keep everybody aware of 9-11, I, I do it. And while nothing can bring Harrington Hughes back, her memory lives on in other ways. You no, know, it doesn't get doesn't get easier at all. You know, I mean, but you know, yeah, I guess you have to look in the bright things. I mean, I had a grandson born on 9/11, not that 9/11 that she died on, but four years later, and, and you know, and his name is Cooper, and so that's a blessing. Amanda Callahan, Western Mass News. Harrington also shared with Western Mass News there are at least three children born around the world named after Melissa because those families fell in love with her and her tragic story.